A long, hard, eventful deployment coming to an end today for four Navy FAA 18 Super Hornet squadrons. The Jets and Aviators returning to Naval Air Station Oceana following nine months aboard USS Dwight D. Eisenhower in the turbulent Middle East. Mike Gooding has the story. It was a sight for sore eyes as VFA 83 led the USS Eisenhower Air Wing homecoming parade. It's been a long nine months and uh, very happy to be here now. Uh, a little longer than I anticipated, but I'm so happy to be home. I couldn't believe that the day was finally here. But the nine months, I felt like the day would never come after two extensions. The Super Hornet Squadron's job was to defend the Red Sea from relentless Houthi rebel attacks in the midst of the Israel-Hamas war. I mean, it was tough. Uh, th this is the first time the Navy's seen this kind of combat uh, in a very long time. The enemy had a lot of, uh, there were a lot of threats against us, but we, uh, we relied on our training and we do what we were trained to do. The challenge of the ops in the Red Sea, they are incredibly challenging. It's a water space that we don't usually operate in and brought with it a lot of logistical challenges. And then the uncertainties of the deployment, that has a big impact on families. Uh, it was a longer deployment, a couple of extensions, uh, but the crew really held together and uh, it was a really good team that we had built. Uh, very focused on a righteous mission, defending the freedom of navigation on the high seas, which is what we were doing for the majority of the deployment. Uh, and I was like, super excited to be a part of it. And now they're super excited to be home. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And the happy homecomings continue tomorrow with the return of Helicopter Squadron HSM-74 and Sunday with the arrival of USS Philippine Sea and USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. And 13 News Now will be there all weekend long.